Hello guys and welcome. My name is Tarun and in this week's video we are going to be talking about the chassis files of the McLaren F1 chassis number 61 and arguably the chassis number 61 is one of the most famous chassis in the McLaren and the reason because of this is that the person who owns this chassis is the reason why this particular one is known to everyone and is famous and the person who owns this is an English comedian and the person is that is Ron Dixon or nonetheless the Mr. Bean. He bought the car brand new back in 1997 and chose a unique burgundy color to the car and then in 1999 he accidentally made the car more unique by accidentally crashing into a stationary car and thankfully the damage was so minor and it was fixed and once again it was back at Ron's hand. That wasn't the end of 61 troubles because in 2011 the car crashed much harder but the engine and the gearbox was ripped out of the car and then the car was sent to McLaren to be assessed and the price which needed to be fixed was a staggering 910,000 pounds and this is because McLaren can't just throw some body parts and regular parts and just leave it out because McLaren has an impossible test and it should pass it then only it can do it so three day of tests and 202 mile run and seven paper checklist after then the McLaren was passed and then Ron got his car back in 2013 and kept till 2015 and sold it for 8 million pounds has 41,000 kilometers put into its odometer and has been used subsequently by its owner. Chassis 11 r started its life much like any other F1 GTRs sent by the race team and built for the competition in the global BPR GT racing scene. Howard was the third owner, gives the 11R a strange tone. In the mid 90s, Mercedes was looking for a new race series to get into and they saw the BPR global GT series the perfect place to enter. They have one problem. They didn't have a car to do it with. They decided that whatever the car was, it will be powered by their 6 liter V12 engine. Now it's just the, what they needed, a test mule to develop their aerodynamics on. So the sneaky Germans bought the 11R and they completely transformed it and put their own plan and they changed it and left no Mercedes branding on the car so they couldn't find it. However, there was a budding relationship between McLaren and Mercedes in the F1 world. Why didn't they ask their car to test on Mercedes? Mercedes thought that McLaren would be offended by using their car as the base for building their car. So they bought the car in complete secrecy, sure to leave no Mercedes branding on the car. Despite testing going well with the Mule A and crash into a tile park is with the social media, photos were published of the car causing Mercedes to stop using it. However, Mercedes saw their own purpose and they created their own which is the CLK GTR. So what happened then? Did Mercedes scrap the car so there will be no more evidence? Or did they end up locking it in a bunker so nobody can see it? No, what they did was they secretly restored the car by taking its own engine and placing its own BMW hard, painting the car in proper black and orange and Mercedes secretly ended up selling the car in auction in 2000. And the new owner subsequently painted the car in full orange instead of black and turned it into a road car, completely hiding its past life or playing against the enemy. Chassis 43 isn't particularly special in itself. It is more about the circumstances that led to its creation that makes it so special. The 2 ton paint job is the first clue to you car guys. In 1995, less than 2 months before the first Le Mans where McLaren was set to debut their McLaren F1 GTR at the factory they had a call from Japan. Mr. Motokazu Sayama was not only the owner of the Ueno Medical Clinic in Japan, he was also a massive McLaren fan. His phone call was to see if he can sponsor his company name on any one of the 6 McLaren F1 GTRs which was set to run on the Lemon. Over the 6 GTRs were already covered with sponsorship and it wasn't a possibility. But Mr. Sayama wouldn't take no for an answer, offering to pay for another GTR to be built and run in the race just to have a sponsorship on it. Great guy. McLaren was happy to do this, except for one small hitch. Every operational GTR they built so far was already going to be competing in the race, and the only car left was the FTS prototype number 1R. McLaren agreed to make Mr. Sayama's car under one condition. If it was to miraculously win the race somehow, McLaren would stay the owner of the 1R. If it didn't, Mr. Sayama was welcome to buy it. It was agreed and McLaren got to work putting the car just 6 weeks before the race. The UNO clinic number 59 made its deadline and rolled on the hollow ground of the Le Mans 24 hours later. 
the F1 first ever outmaining the Le Mans cross touch line in first. Not only that, four of the other GTRs finished second, third, fourth, fifth, and thirteenth. Over that meant that it had completed the deal. Warner remained the property of McLaren, and Mr. Sayama had the glory of his company and technical car finishing first in Le Mans. So he had no F1 to go home with. So that's where the number 43 comes in. It was built for him in a heavily discounted price and painted in the same two-tone scheme as his Le Mans winning one now. This isn't about a single car. This isn't about a single car because the salt of green eye bought copious amount of car that because of his success he bought so many cars throughout the mid 80s and 90s and F1 naturally caught his attention to his true success what did he do maybe he bought two right maybe even three or four no he bought 10 10 McLaren F1s were bought and disappeared into the infinite garages of the green eye most of them unseen to its day he included five road cars red black yellow blue and gray the red car was crashed in mid 90s and was broken up for spares for the other cars and the black and yellow car escaped Brunei in the early 2000s black car now owned by Chris Evans and the yellow car repainted white and added high downforce kit leaving the blue and gray car the first production F1 ever made still sitting in the dark garage in Brunei. He also bought three of six McLaren F1s ever made two of which LM1 and LM4 were painted in a very interesting paint match scheme making the only F1 not to be painted in proper orange speaking of which naturally he has one of those two LM5 then he bought one of the McLaren F1 GTS ever made painted black on black on top of that F1 GTR number 9 are painted exact replica of his Ueno clinic which apparently never moved when it first found its way into the garage so two sold and one written off there is still seven locked away in brunei likely to see they never and ever again